Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about the topic of length and we're going to learn a few words to describe length of maybe um, animals, of objects, of anything we can use to describe length. Let's look at the next slide and you'll see two pictures here. Okay, we have a picture of a dog. You may have seen this dog before, it's a poodle. Now, we have a dog on the left. Okay, the one on the left says to you, I am tall. He thinks he is tall. Okay, so let's look at this word here. I am tall. What would the dog, the second dog on his right, says? He will say, I am taller. I am taller. Okay, so if we were to look at the two pictures again, when do we use the word tall or taller? So let's look at the first dog. If we were to imagine these two dogs are standing on the floor and you look at his height. This is the first dog height. And I would draw a, a line up all the way from the ground up to where his his head meets. Okay, this is about the height of the dog. Well, he's quite tall actually. But look, look at the second dog. Same thing. I go to where his head is. I draw a little line, and then I draw another line up, Ooh, all the way up. Okay, this this arrow, second arrow, seems much taller than the first. So I would say. The second dog on the right, he's, he is taller. But the first dog, well, he's tall. But the second dog is taller. Okay, you don't have to draw this line all the time. Sometimes you can just look at the picture and you, you, can, you can know which dog is taller. So you only need to draw the line if you're not sure. Okay, so we learned the word tall and taller. Let's look at the next, next slide. Okay. Same thing here, we have a picture of two dogs. The first on the left, one that says to you, I am short. He thinks he is short. Okay, so let's look at the word short. S-H-O-R-T, short. And then, what would the second dog say to you? He would say, I am shorter. I am shorter. Shorter. That's the word ER. Okay, so again, when we look at two pictures, two things, when do we use the word short or shorter? Well, you can look at the picture and then you try to see the height, the height of the dog. Okay, so sometimes you may not need to draw a line. Sometimes I'll just look, for example, from the bottom of the picture. Imagine, I'll just imagine if I have a line all the way up. Okay, you don't have to draw this line, just imagine this, okay. So this dog says he's short. So if I were to say the second dog is shorter, means if I would imagine at the bottom, all the way up, this arrow, okay, will be shorter. Okay, so this is how we know when we use the word short or shorter. Let's look at the next slide. Okay, I have a picture of two pencils, okay? So we're going to learn the third set of words to describe length. If the first pencil says, I am short. Okay, just now we learned how to look at the picture of the dog and describe which one is shorter or short. So let's look at another case that is a picture of a pencil. This first pencil says, I am short. So what would you say for the second picture of the pencil? We would say this pencil is shorter. Shorter. So do you get it? So if you would look at this, this pencil, this pencil, is this in the length and this second one it's only all the way here 
So if we look at the two arrows, of course, the second one is shorter than the first one. Okay, let's look at the next slide. Oh, we have picture of two ships. So let's look at the first ship at the top. This ship says, I am long. I am long. Okay, so long. L O N G. So what would the second ship say? He says he is longer. Longer. Okay, so same thing. I can imagine a, a little arrow that stretched all the way here. So this ship is long, but this one I'm going to stretch all the way to the back. So this is longer, longer. Okay, let's look at the next slide. I have pictures of two birds. Okay, imagine they're flying in the sky above the grass. Okay, and the first bird on your left says, I am high. He is high in the sky. And the second bird on the right says, I am higher. I am higher. ER. So, how do we know? Let's imagine I'm going to draw, uh, let's say the height. Okay, let's imagine the tip, the tip of the bird, the tip up here. And the grass is somewhere here. I'm going to draw an arrow all the way up here. So he's quite high. I can never go that high. And same thing, I'm going to draw a little straight line here. Just imagine where the bird is. And I'm going to draw an arrow all the way from the grass all the way up, up, up high. Oh, it's about high, high, high. So this second bird is higher than the one on the left. Well, just notice the two arrows. You don't have to draw again, you don't have to draw the lines all the time. You can just imagine the line in your mind. Uh, but if you're not sure, you can draw the lines in pencil. Okay, let's recap the four sets of words we have learned today. All these words are used to describe, again, let me just write the words here. It is used to describe length. Okay, all these words. Okay, let's start with the first set of words. We learn the word tall, and then we want the word taller. Okay, so we say someone just say it very smoothly. We say taller, taller. Okay, so just let me recap a little bit. Um, let's say if I have a picture of a, a man here. Well, I would say he's quite tall. Okay, let's draw a line up. He's gonna go up this tall. So he's quite tall. But if I were to have another man like that, okay, I'll draw a line up all the way. This guy is definitely taller compared to the one on the left. Okay, so we will say, let's say I give a name to these two, two men. Call him John and maybe Tim. I will say Tim is taller than John. Okay, so I will say I can say it this way, Tim is taller, or I can say John is tall. Okay, so let's look at the second set of words. 
we learn short and shorter. Okay, let's say I would to draw picture. So that's a cute little cat. Okay, his paws. So I have a picture of a cat and he says he is short. Okay, so let me draw a little line here. Imagine there's a little arrow. So he is short. So can you imagine another cat that is shorter? No, so let's imagine if I were to draw line cross. If the cat is shorter, his height will be below this line. So this cat maybe it's only about here. Okay. So this cat, maybe his height is only about here. So this cat is shorter. So if I say this is cat A and this is cat B, I would say cat A is short and cat B is shorter. Okay, quite easy, isn't it? Let's look at the third set of words. Long and longer. Okay, let's imagine I have a ice cream steak. That it's uh, this long. Okay, didn't draw, draw very well. Okay. So this ice cream stick and I say it's long and then I have I call it stick. A and I have another stick here which is longer. All the way. Oh, very long. So this stick is really long. So this is thick. B. So I would say stick A. It's long. Stick B is longer. Okay, let's have the last set of words which is high and higher. So imagine something maybe high up. It can be a bird flying in the sky. It can be an aeroplane in the sky. So I'm going to draw an aeroplane. Okay, so this is an aeroplane. So imagine this is the ground. This is the ground. And I'm going to draw an imaginary, I'm going to draw a line from the ground all the way up to the aeroplane. So I say this aeroplane is high. And I have another aeroplane. Okay. And the, and the height is it's very much higher. It means when I draw a line up from the ground, this is going to be higher. Okay, so again, if this is aeroplane, aeroplane A, and aeroplane B, I would say Aeroplane A 
is high in aeroplane V is higher. Okay, so let's have a little quiz. Now, we have two trees here. Which tree is taller? Okay, I want you to just put your finger near your computer screen. If you think which is taller, you draw like a little tick in front in the, in the orange box. Okay, so which tree is taller? The one on the left or right? I give you about five seconds to think. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let me review the answer. This tree is taller. Did you get that correct? Well, if you did, that's good for you. But if not, don't worry, we'll practice and you'll get better. Let's look at the next question. Which mushroom is shorter? Hmm. Again, I'll give you about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, this one is shorter. Okay, if you're not sure, again, I'm going to help you. I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to draw a line here. And draw a line here. Okay, let's just compare. Now, this mushroom on the left. Okay. So, we're going to draw this arrow. And for this mushroom on the right, the arrow will be this. So, which arrow um, shows that it's um, shorter? Of course, this one on the left. Let's look at this. Two dogs. Which dog is longer? I'm going to give you five seconds to think about this. Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is this one. Okay, how do we know that? Again, I'm going to help you. Let me draw a little line here. Okay, and I'm going to look at the dog all the way from that line here to the end, which is the tail. So, and for this dog, this is where the tail ends. I draw a line here all the way. So this arrow is longer than this one. So the first dog is longer. Let's look at the next question. Which bird is higher? I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. This one. Did you get it correct? If you're not sure, again, I'm going to help you. I'm going to draw a line for these two birds. And I'm going to start from the grass, which is here. Draw an arrow up. Okay, this is for the first one. This is for the second bird. Oops, oops, not very nicely drawn, but roughly about there. So this bird is higher than the bird on the left. Okay, the bird on the right is higher than the bird on the left. Okay, so do you get it correct? Well, so let's recall we learned tall and taller. We learned short and shorter. We learn long and longer. We learn high and higher. All these four sets of words can be used to describe length. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. We're going to learn more about numbers and length uh, in the future lesson. Thank you.